Hey guys, this is Poet Spice and I am here to do an update and a flip through of my planners for 2023 in the, what is it, the second quarter. So, I broke down, as you saw in a previous, may have seen in a pre previous video, I broke down and bought uh, an official Hope in Each Weeks when I also had um, the dupe. And then I recently purchased, it just came a couple days ago, literally, a dupe of the Hobonichi Cousin. And I should have just gone and, <laughs> I should have just purchased it. But you don't know that until you go through and you look and see if you like stuff, right? So that's what it is, what it is. So since I did that, I was trying to see how I was going to use my Hobonichi Weeks the dupe one, as well as my Hobonichi Mega. <clears throat> so, after about mm, not even another whole week, I realized that having the dupe and the Mega was just not going to work, particularly when I went ahead and bought the Hobonichi dupe cousin, right? So, I ended up ripping <laughs> apart and redoing the pieces from the Hobonichi dupe into my actual Hobonichi Weeks Mega. So, as you can see from the last time, I did get a clear cover. And I actually got a clear cover for both of them. So, I was like, Ugh. So, that clear cover, I guess, will have to be for next year. And I took out one of my... Um, I had die cut and colored this and put this together a while ago and it was just sitting in my stash so I decided that I was going to put it on the front because I do like my die cuts so I know a lot of people are sticker heavy I am die cut heavy if I show you my desk I'll just do a wheel so if I show you my desk up here you see dies 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 and then over here our dies, 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 dies. This is not even a fraction of the dies I own. If you look up here, let me see if I can get it to go even further. If you look up here, I die cut things and I color them. And then like here's some flowers that I die cut and made. So there I have a ton of that crap. <clears throat> so although I do like stickers a lot, I'm usually more going to have die cuts in paper crafting stuff in mind so there you go with that one um so let's go ahead and start so i'll just go ahead and put so you i had originally purchased this to be a food and di a food diary exercise that kind of thing and then some coloring because what i had in the previous one wasn't enough for it so i ended up putting all of that from the other one in here and so forth so I have this little picture and you can see this here I have a list of things this was in my other journal this was a list of things that I wanted to work on and do this year okay or just in general and then you have your I still don't know what to do with this because it's not in there's not enough space to track because I track seven things and that's not enough boxes so I don't know what to do with this and then since I didn't get this until the very beginning of April, you know, I don't have these first months filled out. Well, I did March. So I must have gotten this in March, not April. And then so here are, you know, some things for April. So I'm going to put this paper clip back on here. And so forth. So my monthly and then this is telling me what I put in here because I switched it all and put it in here. Um, then you have your May. I got seven more weeks of school left. And then I've got a hashtag that I'm going to do in May. And then I haven't filled out June yet. So those are the monthlies. And then I put a tab up here. And then here I just went ahead and... <clears throat> I put in this little tab of books and then I use some washi tape here and then Olga Ronnie's coloring challenge her finding color I decided I was going to put that in here I usually 
I try to get stuff done in the week that it's due, but I just don't all the time. So I've just been, I wrote down the whole list and she's at Peacock now, so 34. And then I decided I was going to go ahead and take a picture of the, the colorings that I did for her thing. So these are all ones that I have done. Now I know I've done some more, but they were so long ago, I don't know what I did. Like I know there's a chameleon one that I did. Um, planet the planet's right there i need to cross that off highlight that one <clears throat> so i decided i was just going to go ahead and use my sprocket and take the pictures of the pages i did and then i was going to put them in here and so i set up a few spreads just for getting that ready and then i have the 20 books that i wanted to color in for 2023 not to finish because i don't plan on finishing a coloring book but these were ones that i had, were new or i've never colored in or i just like a lot and so i made the list and i put it in here i had to copy it twice <laughs> so i put it in here and then i put books to color and then i'll do the same thing i'll put pictures of the page from the book <clears throat> And so then I left some more for that. I have the sticky note with JoJo's hashtags on it so I can remember those. And then this I pulled out of my, ripped it out of the other one and cut it apart and made it a new one. So I didn't want to print the bingo again and so forth. So I ripped this out, cut the page apart, and fortunately I was able to pull apart the layers of paper. So I made put new paper down and then I put my writing bingo on this side. And this was a cover I was using for NaNoWriMo one year for a story called Split, which I did not realize that there was actually a movie called Split, but that's okay. So writing. And then on this side is my reading bingo. As you can see, I don't have anything written. I've been such a slacker, such a slacker. And <clears throat> that's not true. I actually have two poems written, but... I haven't written anything recently. And it's Camp Nano and National Poetry Month. And have I done anything? No. I've been a slacker. And then on this side. <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't want to hear all this. I'm sorry. And then on this side, I did reading. So I made some new tabs. I had this sitting on my desk. Like I said, die cut. It's a die cut that I had sitting on my desk. This is a die cut label. Die cut. And I put this back over here. And you can see I've got like 10 books under romance. I got a pirate book. And some of these romance, not actually all of these were new authors and one was recommended. And then I just kept going from there. I finished a classic. What classic? Oh, Macbeth. Because I read Macbeth for the first time in a long time because I had to teach it. And then we get into, these were days. This, this was before I had the planner. And then when I was in my other planner. You know, the other hoban each the the dupe and so i left these blanks and i think i'm just gonna put like recipes or something in here for this part then i started recording and these are the things i wanted to record and then here's the first three days that i did that and then this was before i had the planner so i must have gotten the planner after the third fifth and then so yeah because this is the sixth so then here is my recording. I record the time I was eating, how I was feeling, yada, yada, and the extra notes over here. And <laughs> it's like, okay, had some realizations. And then, so I did that. And then I tried this vertical, doing it vertically this way, because I felt like I was running out of space going this way, which is also why we were gonna move into the other one. So we've got this. And I wanted to start doing some little doodles because I, I do little drawings and stuff. So I did a little crappy looking pizza and so forth. Took some notes. And then same thing here. I did the same layout. Put some notes here. Um, and so forth. And just some observations. And then here's this. This was my birthday. And then we went on spring break. And so here's definitely when I was like this, I don't need this whole planner and the other one in this other one. So there you go. And then here is this week and some information here. And then the baby came. So I was like, yay. So that's in here. Yada, yada, yada. So that'll be what I'm doing here. Then 
back here with the notes pages. And so I'm probably gonna put recipes and stuff and, and anything like that, maybe some cooking stuff, you know, in this food part, <clears throat> excuse me. Then here, see, another die cut that I cut and colored. And my finished, I'm keeping a log of my finished colored pages in here because I used to have a whole coloring planner and I was like yeah no this is too much so here's that and I don't really have a lot so far this year but it is what it is so there's that and then I set some more pages up I might need to add more but I just went ahead and set those up and then some expenses which this I was doing in my other one so obviously everything for the other journal was in there and then I have some for April and then there and then for my pantry I need to make that list but that's what is going here into whatever I don't need and then after that whatever these pages or just be notes on, on whatever it is um, and then I had a story idea so that yeah, I did not fill out these back pages now <laughs> this this is the first couple months of <laughs> the uh, Hobonichi dupe because I'm like I don't want to get rid of it because I like the way it looked I like the way it, so I ripped it out I undid the stitching ripped it out put some washi tape on it and fortunately it was like the signature and I kept it so here you like I said you can see some die cuts you're always going to see die cuts and I was able to keep put my plans in here there's some more die cuts the die cuts the die cuts I do have a couple stickers. I got some planner sticker things up there. And then this is where I changed layouts. And so this was the planner one where I'd write down what I got done. And if I had any notes that I needed to take on work, you know, I had some Olga stuff and whatever like that. <clears throat> then I changed the layout because the single one wasn't working. So I changed this when I saw, who did I see? What's his name? TJ something. I was like, okay, and I was look doing that, and then I'm like, I'm having a problem with that, so I tried to do it this way, down that way, and I kind of liked that, and so I did that again, and I put some little doodles, so here's a little present, a little book, a little pencil, and then I was doing a Loomis head, and then I changed the layout to go vertically, well, you can see this is falling out. So go vertically, see about that, see if that would work. And uh, what I had to do for my plants, some little, little doodles again, a crayon, another die cut. And I still need to do that and I'm still not doing that. I mean, I've got some stuff done, but and then there's another die cut. So I did not want to get rid of this because number one, I have all this, you know, it's like a record in a journal of what you're doing. Okay, so I just ripped that out and stuck it in here. So now everything is in here. Except now we are going to go with my Hobonichi dupe. I don't even know what to call it. So here it is. I did a video where I flipped through it blank <laughs> and yeah as you can see i've had this i got it on the fifth it is now the seventh i've had it for two days and you can already see that it is <laughs> okay <clears throat> so i was able to go on amazon and find this one the codex for the Midori and it actually fits I tried it um, I I don't want to have this plain cover but I don't necessarily want to do stickers so scrapbook paper have lots of it I do like steampunk so I'm thinking maybe to cut this out maybe to put these on the front cut those out maybe use that now I don't think I'm gonna use that one it's too dark I don't want dark on the front then I thought in a totally different direction, maybe put this on the front cover. I don't know. But those are the options, especially now that my cover fits 
instead of the one that didn't. So there's that. Yay, this video is going to be a little bit longer. I'm sorry. Alrighty then. There are some things I can't show. But most of it will come. So I have not decorated this part yet because I wanted to see if the, the clear cover was going to fit. And I'm still debating on whether I'm going to get like a leather slash faux leather cover. But so I'll end up doing some kind of decoration to these pages. I just use my Ahuhu markers to put little dots on dates. But I think I'm going to do it in a different color because that's a little too light. I'm going to put something here. Not sure what to cover that up. And then here is my... I don't know what you call it but i just got the planner on april 5th so obviously i don't have january february march filled in and i wasn't sure if i wanted to do it like an index for the dailies or a tracker so i turned march into april's tracker and then april is the index so i have both of these going on to see what works better then you have your monthly pages like I said, I don't have anything in here for March. Well, actually it goes to December, January, February, March. I don't have anything in here for that. Um, I probably will put stuff there. I just don't know what. So then here is my April spread. And <laughs> I got some washi tape. And so I put that up here because I loved it. I had old washi tape, some old stickers. And then these are some transparent sticky notes. And then Easter has a cross sticker on it. I turned 50. Yeah, I'm old as dirt. The baby came. We're on spring break this week. I wanted to highlight this, but I wanted to use blue. And of course, can I find my blue light blue highlighter? No, can't find it. So there's all that. And then some stuff I got to do at work and everything. My collaborations are on there. And then because I was playing with the washi tape that I had, I've got part of May done. And so I put two layers down of this orangey vintage washi tape. And then this little cat it was so cute. So then I put this on top. And then I've got some stuff filled in here. Um, and then my May is going to be Magania May. So now you've got a hint as to what my hashtag will be in May. Then I went ahead and did June because I liked this washi tape. So I put that on there. And then in June and July, it's going to be hot guy summer. Yay, Jojo. And so <laughs> this was also the weird thing because school will be over in about seven weeks, which means then I'll have summer off. And then I don't really have a lot of things planned. It's the same kind of things like my hair appointment, bills are due, my collaborations, yada, yada, yada. So I don't really have a lot then. Then July, I wanted to play some more with the washi tape that I had. So, and I had just purchased this. So I bought, this all came together. So I put that in there and I used books, stuff about like storyteller and all this kind of stuff, some writing, I made sure to get notebook and vintage and the notebook up here, bundle of books, um, because July is Camp Nano, which is writing. So there's that. And let's see. I didn't do anything for August. So I don't like to totally do everything ahead of time because, you know, August I may feel like I'm pissed off and it may just be everything I want to be black. <laughs> so I knew that these would not change because they're summer color. It's still summery colors. You still got that orange in there. You still got orange in here and oranges in there. So that's like summertime. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, then the planner goes through uh, March of, what is it, 2024. And let me show you, I might have noticed, this is actually a Monday start calendar and I hate Monday start. So that's why this is over here on the Sunday and you'll notice that I moved the dates for Sunday over here. So this is now Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Because I can't stand a Monday start with a monthly. 
Okay, so then we have weeklies. Now, this is the part um, where I'm unsure. So, I've got all these pages because, well, you know, all these weekly pages because I didn't get the planner until April. And I had considered getting an April start, but I was like, this one, this one was on sale with a coupon. <laughs> Uh, so that wasn't happening. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with these pages. I don't know. It'll probably be writing. I don't know. It'll be probably whatever I want to put on it. Just like random stuff. Okay, so let me see this page. So then I did go and put... So let me take this off so you can see this one. I did start April here. Even though I didn't get it until the 5th. I went ahead and put some decoration on here since it was April. And we got it we started spring break here. Um, turn 50. And then these were the 20 books that I wanted to color. So rather than having this, like if I have this planner out and I don't feel like hunting for the other one, I can just go ahead and it's in here. I can look at it. So there you go. So then and I just have these paper clips so it was easier to find the page. So then we have this, and I had this sticker, and I messed up because I thought this was the second instead of the ninth. So I went ahead, and these are some pictures that I had colored. So I went ahead and put those, that little thing there. And I have a sprocket, so that's what I use for my pictures. Then I found a Bible verse. Well, not a Bible. Well, I guess it is a Bible verse. I was going to say it's not the whole thing. Here, because it's Easter. And then... I haven't done any decorations on this one. I just put that I have a staff meeting and my hair appointment. So I'll do something on there. But I did buy these beautiful blue stickers. And I'm like, woo -hoo -hoo. So then you have dailies. Here's the other problem. So these are all your weeklies. And then these are the dailies that I missed. Because I did not have this planner. So there are three months of dailies. Which is like 90 pages. Well, probably 45 because it's double-sided. So, I got to figure out what to do with these. I mean, I could just leave them blank, but <clears throat> they're there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, then we start with the monthlies. So, I went ahead and decorated it. Like I said, die cuts everywhere. This is a sticker, but this is a die cut flower I made and a banner I made. And then this is a die cut I had sitting on my desk. So, I'm like, yeah, we'll do that. And so you can see it is dimensional. Now it's been flattened and I was surprised how flat it went because it's pretty flat even with it just in there. So then there's that. Um, I do need to take out, because I started April in my other planner. So I do need to take those pages out and I'm going to staple them here so that they're all in the same place. And then like I said, look, two die cuts and a die cut. Then I wrote, like I said, I didn't get this planner till the 5th, but I was having some more feelings about my birthday. <laughs> so I went ahead and wrote them on the 2nd, even though I actually wrote it on the 5th. And then, um, yeah, so I actually wrote that twice. Not this twice, but I wrote about my birthday twice. So then, like, and so I, ch I knew the baby came, the baby came, the baby came. So I'm now an aunt. So the baby came on the 5th. And I knew I was going to do a decent amount of writing just for my day. And then because of the baby. And then we got the pictures for the baby. And yada, yada, yada. So I knew it was going to be at least two pages. So since I took the 4th and I made it the 5th. So this is the 5th. And then the 5th is the 5th. Right? So this was a card I had made from... It's Stamps of Life, and I had made it for something. I can't remember which collab I made it for. And so I ripped the card apart, and I just took the bear part, and I put them on here. And then I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote about the baby. And you see how small I write. So it was kind of weird because I'm like, um, hmm. <laughs> now, I can't turn to the other page because the other page has the baby pictures. But on the back of this, I have the baby pictures plus, you know, writing for that. And then what I am going to do is put some baby, like, 
die cuts. So, for example, let me show you. I have, like, I couldn't find them, so it made me, I specifically bought this one for the baby. So it's a little giraffe, and then it's a baby with this little hat, and it's got a pacifier, and a little baby bear, and it's got a bib that you can put on the giraffe. There's this little body and arms and hands and everything. It's just so cute. So, <clears throat> but I also have stuff like baby bottles and little baby clothes and everything. So that will probably be showing up a lot. I told my I told my brother, I need a picture every day, <laughs> which means I need to text him because it's been um, two days since I've had a picture. So he needs to get it together. I don't care if he is a new dad. <laughs> so then on the 6th, I, I, I moved, I wanted, I had more pictures that I wanted to put of the baby. So I just made it go into the sixth and then I wrote stuff on the sixth about what's going on around it. Yada, yada, yada. So there you go with that. So then we go here and you've got all these pages, 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 pages. So that is that part. Then today I was watching a video and I showed the these will be coming up in my embellishment video on the 11th but I showed these that I had made using the, they started out as part of a tutorial and then I just went from there and switched them all up and whatever so <clears throat> there are these different like pieces here and all kinds of flippy flappies and all this stuff yay so, yeah, my, my book is going to be bulked up. But this is how they would go. So, you've got this piece here. So, let me move this to make sure I don't get any of the baby pictures showing. So, I'll be back here. <clears throat> so, this one would go so that this piece folds over your page like that. And it gets glued down here. So, I put glue right there. And put that there. And then you've got tags that you could write on. You open it up you have more space to write on so it gives you more space than just this little piece there now this oh this piece is sticking out farther than i thought it would so i might adjust that like adjust it because i can take that off and rip it off or i can just cut this and anyway like i said i have i do a lot of scrapbooking but i don't scrapbook but i do paper crafts journals and stuff like that and then so on this side you would have this and it would sit like that, but it folds out. If you can see that, let me move it over. It folds out and folds out again so that now there's two more spaces you could do. And if I wanted to add another little thing here, I could do that and then there would be a tag there. So I made a bunch of these to go in here. Um, you're supposed to glue them down, but this is the other thing. Since I don't know where I necessarily want everything to go, so it's like this one here, right? We can stick it in here. Oops, do. You know, can stick it in here and you can move it wherever you want to. But until you know where you want it permanently, you can always just paper clip it in there. So I love that. So here's another one that you can just put it in there. And da -da -da. Now, had I done them a different way, but like this one is okay because it doesn't have a lot. You can also do this at the top so that this piece, and then I would have to cut it down because I wouldn't want it to stick out like, oh, like it is over here. But you could put it at the top and then you would have like little pieces here. And they would stick out a little bit, but not a whole lot. And then when you turned it, it would have this on the other side. And then just show you that I do have a pocket back here. Where's the pocket? There it is. So that you could have more room on the same page. And then flip it up and then you would have another pocket here that you could put things in with that one. And so you could just reorient the pockets so that you can put it on top and then shorten it. So that is basically what my planner is looking like. And in here I put the things to do. So let me go back to the 
weeklies. So on weeklies, I don't put what I'm going to do unless it's like an appointment. So like hair appointment, staff meetings, those don't get moved. But then I'll put what I actually got done. So for example, today I paid <laughs> the phone bill and the electric bill. And then I'll put in that I did a birthday video from... Uh, what you call it pixie and then I did a video of this and then I did so I put all the things that I did here clean this clean that then I know what I need to do so hopefully that was interesting and I didn't realize it was going to be this long so hopefully you don't hate me <laughs> if you have any suggestions on what I can do with the um old daily pages or anything like that you can let me know if you have any other suggestions if on this channel you would like me to do any crafting kind of stuff you can always let me know thanks for watching you guys see you later